Standing, no emotion as the jury reads guilty across the board for a deputy killer. The same emotionless stance that last night as the deputy she killed lies dying on the ground. Cassandra Smith will now be behind bars for drunk driving and killing Charlotte County Deputy Christopher Taylor. Link News reporter Claire Gulp joins us live now from the Charlotte County Courthouse. Claire, you spoke with Taylor's family after the verdict. What did they say? Chris, the Taylor family has waited, prayed for this day for 13 months. So have his fellow deputies at the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. And at this hour, his killer drunk driver, Cassandra Smith, is coming to terms with the fact that she is going to prison for a very long time. Cassandra Smith stood silently, solemnly, as the clerk said guilty. Not once, but four times for her crimes that caused the death of Charlotte County Deputy Christopher Taylor. The damning video played in court from November 22nd, 2022 will forever be frozen in the memories of those who loved him. His expression, the second before Smith's out of control Jeep took his life. Her drunken smile as she talked to the deputy at the scene, 75 North near the Jones Loop exit. As the bailiff led her out of the courtroom, Smith finally showed emotion. She looked to her family in the pews and as she walked out the door, she began to sob. The verdict ends a more than year long wait for justice for Deputy Taylor's family, but the beginning of closure. This week has been, it's been something else for me because I was so close to Christopher. Taylor's grandpa, Rich, told me he misses his grandson every second of every day. He pictures the future he may have had. Just 23 years old, Taylor was fresh into a career he always wanted and engaged to be married. Christopher was more like a son to me than he was a uh, grandson. Christopher, you was a good kid, and then you turned out to be a very good man, and, and you enjoy your, to be in the sheriff department, and I know you're up there looking down. His best friend, Alyssa, told me she will never move on, never be the same. He was my best friend, and I couldn't imagine being anyone else. Like, I'm so glad he was there. I'm so glad I had him. But the Taylors, Alyssa, told me they have something now they can hold on to. Justice. They told me Chris lived his life looking for the good. He was kind. He was forgiving. His grandpa told me he does forgive Smith for what she did. He has to, he told me, so he can move on. I just keep plugging away and just, you know, I don't give up. I still got, I'll be six, uh, 86 years old, but I still got a lot of things to do before I go. So he forgives, but he will not forget. Rich Taylor wants Smith to get the punishment. He says she absolutely deserves. She'll be in jail tonight and she'll find out how long she'll be in prison on February 1st. Live in Charlotte County, Claire Gall, Wink News.